Hello everyone and welcome to my Windows 10 desktop. It's been cleared so as not to confuse you. However, one of the things I couldn't figure out how to clear and would not clear anyway is the taskbar down at the bottom. Notice all of these tools that I have, some of them running, some of them just available to start up. I love my taskbar. I love it much more than starting things from my desktop. I like keeping my desktop clean. So part of this installation lecture will include how to configure Windows 10 so that I can get this GIMP icon down here in the taskbar so that I can easily start it and bring it back down to the taskbar. So let's begin. To install the GIMP, no matter what your operating system is, the only thing that you need is a browser. And here I'm going to open Chrome, my particular browser, and I'm going to go to the only place you should ever download the GIMP. Some people I've heard horror stories about downloading from other sites, any site other than GIMP.org, and they've ended up getting malware on the installation. So watch out, you want to go to GIMP.org. These are the legitimate maintainers of the GIMP operating system. So when we go there, by the way, great place to get instruction, both video and textual. And what you'll want to do is go to download 2.8.18. Now you have two choices on where you want to download it. I'll download it here directly. What the heck? I don't think it really matters which way you go. Now in Chrome, I've got Chrome set up to ask which directory to put the download file in. Now notice this is a Windows executable, and I'm going to put it in my downloads directory on this PC. It's called GIMP, and then it's got the version number, and it has setup.exe. So let's go ahead and save that. Now down here in the lower left of my browser pops up the download window. And I even have a little progress bar here going around in a wheel. And I have the number of megabytes downloaded. It says it's going to take, okay, 50 seconds, so on, a minute to download this. So it's actually a pretty fast download for me. But I'm going to cut out part of this and we're going to jump ahead. Okay, and the download has completed. I can see that by the fact that the wheel has gone away. And I also wanted to point out while we're here that if you're downloading for other operating system versions, this is where you would do so and follow the instructions that show up on that page. Now we're going to use the Windows install as an example. Here I've got the file downloaded and now I can, in Chrome on Windows, I can click on this little down arrow and I can say open. And what it'll do is it will execute this install file. Here it comes on my screen. Do I want to give control of my system and I say yes and I would like this in English. Notice that there are many languages you can choose from. So you're not just stuck with English menus and so on. You can get menus in your own language. And here comes the GIMP install screen. Now at this point I say go ahead and install. Okay, because I have the GIMP running it's complaining so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shut the GIMP down and say go ahead next you can you can shut those down but they're already closed and here it goes extracting files and it's doing the actual installation and that's the installation it just installed all the files and i just click finish and it should all be done now the next thing that i want to do is i want to show you how to find the gimp on windows 10 and how to pin the gimp and unpin the gimp from the bottom taskbar. Here on the bottom taskbar are all the tools that I have available for quick start. The ones that have little blue bars under them and have screen samples pop up are things that are running. The ones that don't are not running. So I want to put the GIMP here. How do I do that? I go over and I click on here and usually the latest thing that's been installed will show up here as new. It's not doing that in that this case. So let's go ahead and we'll go to all applications and then we'll go down to the GIMP. Here we go, GIMP 2. So this should actually start the application. So what we do is we right click and you now if I left click, it will start the GIMP at this point. Notice one of the things that I can do here is I can pin to the start menu 
so that it actually shows up at the top of the start menu. But what I like even more is to go down here to more and off to the right and I can see, well actually in this case unpin from taskbar because I already have it pinned. If I didn't have it pinned, I could say pin to taskbar and it will show up down here on the taskbar. And notice that these things in the taskbar, I can shuffle back and forth to put them in any order I want. Now all we've got to do is click once on the GIMP icon and it will come up if I have successfully installed it. Usually the first time that you start it, it's going to take a long time to load things. Here it's loading various scripts and graphic resources and so on. And here it is. Now if I go to help and down to about the GIMP, I can see that I'm running 2818. To get rid of the GIMP, I just click on the X like any other Windows application, and it's gone. In the next lesson, we're going to look in more detail at starting and stopping the GIMP and the layout of those windows that you saw briefly while the GIMP was running. I'll see you there.